In today's banger video, we are gonna try to beat Minecraft, but you can grow structures. Each sapling can help us grow different structures that may contain OP loot, which can make us OP and help us to destroy the Ender Dragon. So guys, watch the whole video until the end to find out if I could beat the Ender Dragon or not. And of course, while you guys are at it, while you guys are here, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We are very close to 3,000 subscribers, guys. Please help me reach 3,000 A's. AP. Enough talk, sit back, relax, let's head right into the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to subscribe. Ooh, we got some saplings in our inventory. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Well, I mean, I exactly know what we have to do with all these different saplings. And we have seven saplings, is that what it is? And there's two nether saplings as well. The crimson fungus and the wobbed fungus. Okay, that's kind of cool. And really interesting. I'm really curious to know what's gonna happen. So first of all, we gotta find and kill some sheep to get wool and then eventually craft a bed. We need one bed. And also a few more extra wood and cobblestones. Like four few more extras. In order to fast things up, it's time for us to start working, I guess. So you know what? It's time for the basics. Let's start getting some wood. A crafting table. Let's make a few sticks. A garbage wooden pickaxe. Now time to mine some stones with the garbage wooden pickaxe to get cobblestones and then craft the super slow garbage slow freaking useless stone tools and also the two furnaces as well. And I also got a few more extra cobblestones. We have eight. That is absolutely more than enough. And there we go. We got more extra logs, more woods as well. Now we just have to find some sheep. Where are they? Oh, and there we go. We found it. We found some sheep. Now that's two sheep, white sheep right there. So that's gonna be just two of these white wool. I need three though. Oh, no worries. We found more sheep. Now if I do that, there we go. We got one white bed. So bed in the middle. Four of these logs just like that in all those corners and four of these cobblestones just like that in the remaining corners we get a, a structure wide okay i'll take that oh we got oak village modifier book okay that's cool so what we have to do with this is first of all as the name says oak village right so the oak sapling so if i place the one sapling over there down and now if i throw this book on top of the sapling and now if i just wait until it grows i guess we just have to wait. Come on, there we go. There we go. It has now completely grown into uh, an oak village. Is that what it is? And I see iron golem right there. Are you kidding me? Yo, look at this village, bro. That looks awesome. I mean, it's nothing different. There's just two houses here. That's it. That, that That's it. Well, at least there's a lot of food here. Oh my Hello goodness. There. My... No, can you... Oh my goodness, why is this happening to me right now? I just ran out of food, ran out of sprint, mid-air, mid-jump. Are you kidding me? That was really dangerous. Oh my goodness, finally some food to heal ourselves. Is there anything else inside the village except for the bed? Actually, I'll take the bed because we can make more of these villages. And I can get more iron from the iron golem. And more food. Okay, yep, I'm gonna do that. Anyways, there is the iron golem right there. We gotta kill him. We need five iron ingots. Exactly. There we go. He's dead. And that was... That was three. That was three. You gotta be joking right now. Are you kidding me? Actually, you know what? Let me grab a few more of these wood. I'm gonna make another village of this. I need more iron. There we go. We got the structure white again. Let me just plant this again and throw the book on top of it. And now what we have to do, we gotta get those mossy cobblestones inside the village, right? There we go. Yep, there we go. And there we go. We got everything. Now, let me just get down real quick. And now, big guy, are you not angry? Why? I just hit you. Okay, whatever. Can you can you become angry and try to kill me? I guess. I just want to kill you and get all the irons I can. Boom! You're dead. And that is four more. I guess I got four more. That is okay. That is perfect now. So for the next uh, structure, what we have to do, we gotta make one iron nugget, but we get nine from one iron ingot. So if I place one iron nugget right over there and four of these mossy cobblestones just like that in all those corners, four of these cobblestones just like that. There we go. Structure void when we click it we get a jungle temple modifier and you guys know what we have to do with this i mean it's jungle and this is uh, where's the jungle yeah ju a jungle sapling oh, okay we have to throw the book on the jungle sapling that's what it is oh, okay let's just go ahead and place the jungle sapling down and also throw the jungle temple book modifier whatever this is and now we just have to wait and there we go it is now done i mean the sapling has now turned into a structure and that is a jungle temple Okay, we are here and we just uh, broke the trap. Okay, now we are good, probably. And there's the chest right there. 
emeralds wait hold on that that is what we need for the next structure oh that is good and also there's gold wait hold on we have six gold now we just need netherrack and obsidian one obsidian for the next structure as well that is good what is inside this dispenser nothing literally no arrows okay this trap was nothing was useless not even dangerous anyways now if i place one emerald right over there and four of these sandstones just like that in all those corners and four of these iron ingots just like that there we go structure void when we click it we get a desert temple modifier oh this is is gonna be good so what we have to do with this is we have to place or throw this on top of the acacia sapling if i do that and throw this on top of that now we just have to wait and boom there we go it worked there it is there's the structure right there that's the sandstone structure no that's actually the desert temple the desert pyramid now it's time for us to get inside oh my goodness okay just so that i don't trigger the pressure plate i'm just gonna go from over here okay and there is the tnt right there that's perfect that is what i'm talking about let's see what's there inside the chest oh golden apple i'll take that iron ingot okay that was just one that is useless what's there inside this blast protection okay nothing really that great saddle i'll take that for the horses to get more speed or you know to, to go to anywhere faster i guess well that was really useless are you kidding me all right whatever that's fine now what we have to do we gotta find and get some diamonds and for that we need an iron pickaxe there we go we got it now let's just go ahead and dig straight down until we find diamonds and also we need a few gold a few iron and also as i said before diamonds as well so yeah let's 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 just dig straight down i just need all the resources i can cool iron i'll take that Ooh, gold as well i'll take that that's for sure i need like four blocks of gold and the diamonds now that's what i'm talking about there's two right here but i need a lot more not only we have to make a diamond pickaxe we also need like five or six more diamonds for one of the custom structures i mean structures to grow them three veins not bad now with the three veins what i'm gonna do without wasting any time let's make a diamond pickaxe now with the diamond pickaxe what i have to do is get one obsidian there we go there's obsidian right there and boom there we go we got one obsidian as well and now i guess we have everything except for the gold we need more gold two hours later okay i'm guessing we have everything we need it's time for us to start smelling now guys while all these gold and iron are smelting you guys have to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell we are very close to 3,000 subscribers guys you guys have to hit the subscribe button right now just do it as always do not waste your time that is gonna mean a lot if you guys hit the subscribe button to me and that's gonna make me very happy so yep there we go three iron ingots are done and first we got the bucket there we go oh cool we also got the shield now hold on let's see if there's any gravel nearby we have to make a flint and steel oh there is gravel right there what am i even talking about that was so easy boom there we go we got the flint as well and flint and steel acquired now all we need to do is wait for the gold and now while we're waiting let me just go ahead and craft our own portal to the nether Boom, there we go. The portal is done. Let's light it up and now let's see if all the gold is done smelting. Yup, there we go. It is. All the gold is done. And we got all the gold blocks we need as well. Oh, we are looking awesome right now. Anyways, we are done. Now it's time for us to get inside the nether. And here we are. We are inside the nether. We are in Crimson Forest. Okay, now if I get the nether rack from over here. Yup, just four is enough. And now if I do that with all these four gold ingots, one obsidian in the middle and four of these nether racks just like that there we go structure void ruined portal modifier okay we gotta use this in the old world we gotta get one ancient debris a few moments later um do you guys see that yep that's an ancient debris right there oh that is what i'm talking about i just blew up one of the yellow beds and it just gave us this oh this is what i'm talking about give me that one oh i'm mining it with, with the freaking iron pickaxe i'm so dumb and there we go we got it now let's let's just get out of here let's get back to the surface and here we are we are back up in the surface and th there is my portal it was right below the portal anyways we gotta get back to this portal because we have to get inside the jungle pyramid that we had crafted earlier because we need mossy stone so yeah but now it's either time for us to find a wild forest or a nether fortress a little longer than a few minutes later and now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna grab eight of these blocks the nether brick 
things. Yup, nine. There we go. Uh, we got more than enough. And now, let's get out of here. We are done with the Nether Fortress. And the reason why is because, let me just show you guys right now. So, eight of these, just like that. The Nether Bricks and one Ancient Debris in the middle. There we go. Structure wide. When we click it, we get Fortress Modifier. So, we can make our own Fortress. We can grow our own Fortress. Now, it's time for us to find the Wobbed Forest. And there it is. We found it. We found the Wobbed Forest. Now, that is what I'm talking about. What we have to do now is get exactly 13 Eyes of Ender. One is for the structure to grow it. And the other 12 is to fill the portal up. And we just found a Bastion. You gotta be joking. At Wait, actually? You know what? That's awesome. We we need four of these Blackstone. Is this Blackstone? No, that's polished. I need normal Blackstone. This is definitely normal Blackstone. It's, please tell me it is. Yep, there we go. Two. We need two more. And yep, we are done. Now, in the crafting table, if I place four of these blocks just like that. Four of these blocks like that. One diamond right there. There we go. Structure wide. And uh, if I click it, Bastion modifier. Now, that is what I'm talking about. I will gladly take it. We have three modifiers to test out now. Now, we just have to find and kill some Endermen. Where are these freaking Endermen? Yup, there's one. There's actually two right here. It's time for us to kill some Endermen for Ender Pearls. <laughs> Okay, yup, we are done. We have 14 ender pearls. That's very much more than enough. Easy ender pearls of my life. Now, it's time for us to get back to our own portal. And we are back to our own portal to the overworld. So, let's do that. Let's get back to the overworld. And here we are. We are back in the overworld. And now, it's time for us to get back to the surface. We are in a cave. And here we are. We are back in the surface. Now, as we have the ruined portal modifier, let me just go ahead and place the spruce sap down on the ground and let me just throw that there there we go now we just have to wait and there it is it has now spawned in the ruined portal is it's definitely that's it right there could be nothing else i mean the name itself said it yep there's the ruined portal right there there's a gold block which we don't really need right now golden apple i'll take that blast protection too cool i'll take that as well and nothing else that's great okay i'll take it now's the time to uh, test out the bastion modifier and that we we have to do on on the crimson fungus so if i place this down over here and throw the book on top of it now we just have to wait again come on can you be quick yep there there we go my game oh my goodness oh good lord my game lagged like crazy right there what is this sign uh weird tree but okay uh I don't know what that means, but let, let's keep moving. Oh my goodness, this bastion is so huge. It's so big. Oh, I'm pretty sure the chest over here in in this bastion is also gonna be sick. And look at all these gold block right here. Do I even need them? I, I don't think I, I need them. And there's a chest right over here on the top of the bastion for some reason. And let's see what's there inside. A uh, curse of vanishing, a uh, lodestone, useless, some arrows. I guess I'll take that. And leather, okay, nothing great at all. Well, this Bastion was the most useless thing I've ever seen. And now time to test out the modifier, Fortress modifier, on the Wobbed Fungus now. Now, if I place that and throw the book on top of that, now if I wait, and there we go, it has now spawned in a structure, a fortress. And I'm pretty sure that's a blaze spawner right there. I am so glad I didn't enter the nether, like completely, the nether fortress. Oh, I am so good. Now, I guess we just have to wait until it's nighttime for the blaze to work. I mean, for the blazes to spawn from the spawners. Eventually. And there's all the blazes right there. It's completely dark outside. It's time for us to kill some blazes for blaze rods. Okay, yep, I'm definitely done. Can you guys stop it? I have seven blaze rods and my axe just broke. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on right now. Can you guys stop it? Just die already. Oh, good lord. We have more than enough. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn that into that and that into that. There we go. And now, guys, if I make this MLG, you guys have to hit the like and subscribe button right now. And please, come on, raised venom. No, there's mobs. No, there's mobs. That's not fair. They're gonna block me from doing the MLG. That's not fair. Come on, just come on and land it. It. Landed it. You guys have to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, for the next and the last custom structure, I mean, I mean, structure to grow the structures, we have to find four mossy stones. So, for now, the only way I can think of to get the mossy stones is by entering the stronghold. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of mossy stones over there. So, let's find the stronghold, I guess. Let's see where this thing goes. It goes that direction. Let's go. It's time for us to find either mossy stones or the stronghold. <laughs> 
one eternity later. Oh my goodness, we found the stronghold. Are you kidding me? I found nothing, no structures or anything that could give us mossy stones. Are you kidding me? How rare is it? All right, well, anyways, let me just go down and get the mossy stones. That's it. Oh, I think... Dude, why am I glitching? There we go. We found the stronghold. And there's the mossy stones right there. Finally. And now's the time to craft or create or grow the next and the final structure. So, the four of these mossy stone bricks just like that. Five of these diamonds like that. And one eye of ender in the middle. There we go. Finally, we get the structure wide when we click it. We get a stronghold modifier. Oh, good lord. Finally. And that we have to use it on the final sapling with is the dark oak sap okay here goes nothing i mean i don't know what to expect i don't think there's gonna be any loot in it but let's wait and there we go we have now spawned in a stronghold that's the portal room right there oh my goodness anyways there we go we found the portal room there it is now let's fill the portal up and boom there we go the portal is lit and now it's time for us to get inside the end and before we do that let's set our spawn point right over here let's defeat the ender dragon once and for all Let's freaking do this. Let's get inside the end. Let's go. And here we are. We are inside the end. And there is the Ender Dragon bar. We are up in the surface. In the middle. And where is the Ender Dragon? There is the Ender Dragon right there. It's first of all time for us to take down all the end crystals. And boom. There we go. All the end crystals are down. Ender Dragon, come on. Can you perch already? I gotta kill you. And yup, there you go. Now you're listening to me. Can you please die already? You're, you're gonna die easily. And there's your head right there. Come on, Ender Dragon, just die. Do not unperch quickly. That's all. That's all I'm asking for. Just, just die. Don't waste my time. There we go. You just unperch. You idiot. All right. Well, that's another perch right there. Can you stop with all these spots, Ender Dragon? Now that's enough. Give me your head, Ender Dragon. There we go. You're halfway dead. Okay. Now that was decent damage. Okay, I'll take it now. Come on. Two more perches and you will be dead. There's a head. Please just die already. Do not unperch. I mean, it, it is gonna unperch right now. Now, right? Come on, just do it. Yep, there we go. As I said, now it's it's gonna perch one last time and it will be dead, so no worries. And there we go. That's the last perch right there, guys. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And you, my guy, are dead. I am so sorry. But you have been destroyed. There's all the satisfying experience. There's the dragon egg. And, um, well, I guess the dragon egg just went inside the portal. But, guys, as I said before, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button right now because we are very close to 3,000 subscribers. So guys, help me reach 3,000 subscribers right now. And check out the data pack right now. The link is down in the description. You guys can also have fun just like me. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, have a great day. See ya. Bye.